So tell me, what did you expect? Did you think we wouldn't notice two individuals skulking around town all evening? We have eyes and ears everywhere. You were outmatched before you even played. You can't get away with this! Ah, but we already have, Mr. Grimes. Who do you think is out there looking for you? There's nobody left. Detective Mahoney will stop you. He's already informed the king that you're here. You won't get near the castle. We have no intention of going near the castle, Mr. Grimes. That's not our job. Evil little Kelly is probably already inside the castle as we speak. And for the detective, it's only a matter of time before he dies too. What exactly is it that you're planning here? Our plan has had several layers since the beginning. And tonight, well, let's just say it'll put the icing on the cake. I'm not sure I follow you. Oh, come on. I just spelled it out for you through a series of elaborate analogies. How are you not getting this? No, still not getting it. What about you? You must get it. You're a smart man, Doctor. Nope. I tuned out when you were droning on. Something about layers and icing. Oh, it's the cake, you fools. She's going to poison the cake. What? <gasps> yeah. Hegarty, what are you gasping for? You already know the plan. Oh yeah, you're right. I guess I just got caught up in it all. It was all so dramatic. Sorry. <laughs> you're all pure evil. Oh, how could you? I'm so deeply offended. <laughs> oh, look, Hegarty, your evil is showing. What? Where? Oh, you really are so stupid sometimes. It was a joke. Anyway, any minute now we're going to hear the bells of the castle signaling the princess's last birthday, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Ha 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 ha! Why hasn't she made her move yet? This is not helping my anxiety. It's only ten minutes until we ring the bells and cut the cake. Where could evil little Kelly be? Calm down, your highness. We have everywhere covered and nobody has reported anything suspicious. So far, all the people on the guest list have checked in and there have been no discrepancies reported. Everyone who should be here is here, your highness. Well, that doesn't serve to make me any less worried, Detective. She could be right under our noses for all we know. Would you like me to order a sweep of the castle to make sure, Your Highness? No, no, no. This night must be perfect. We can't arouse any suspicion. It will ruin everyone's evening. This night must be perfect for everyone, and especially little Kelly. But, Your Highness, we can't take any chances. No stone must go unturned. Enough, detective. I have full faith in you and my guards. The night will carry on as planned. No exceptions. We just have to be vigilant. She could strike at any time. By the way, detective, where is Dr. Garrigan and Mr. Grimes? Shouldn't they have reported in by now? I haven't heard anything from them yet, your highness. I'm sure they're fine. They're probably just still searching the kingdom for any sign of evil little Kelly and her goons. Okay, detective. Let me know when you hear from them.
for the perfect princess. What a wonderful party. I killed to have such a wonderful setup, such loyal subjects, such a loving family. Well, soon enough I will. Soon I will take back what was stolen from me, my birthright, my kingdom. This cake represents all of my hard work, the craftsmanship of my plan, all presented in one last poisoned piece. When my dearest twin sister cuts the cake and takes that first bite, her faith shall be sealed, and mine along with it. How fitting that both our fates are determined by the same bite. Oh, look at the time, five minutes ago. I shall revel in my victory later. For now, though, I must wait for the bells to sound the last breath of little Kelly. I better get out of here. Now, little Kelly, it's time for you to cut your cake. We got your favorite, ice cream cake. Have a taste. It's the best ice cream cake in the whole of the magical kingdom. You're going to love it. So, little Kelly, what do you think? Little Kelly, are you okay? Little Kelly, what's wrong? Little Kelly, little Kelly. Doctor, what's going on? Is my daughter okay? I'm afraid not, your highness. It looks as though your daughter was poisoned. Poisoned? But how? Well, guessing it came from the cake, because the minute she took the first bite, she collapsed. It's not looking good, your highness. I'm really sorry. She's going to be okay, right, doctor? I'm afraid we can't say right now. It's a waiting game. We've done everything we can for her. We just have to hope she's strong enough to overcome the poison. Surely there's something more you can do, Doctor. There has to be. I assure you, Your Highness, everything that can be done has been done. We just have to give it time. It's up to her now. Please, Doctor, keep me updated. I will. Maybe you should go home and get some rest, Your Highness. It's been a long night. If anything changes, we'll let you know. I'm not leaving my daughter's side, Doctor. If there's a chance she won't make it, then I want to spend all the time I can with her now. And if she does make it, then I want to be here when she wakes up. Okay, Your Highness. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> 